Kia ora te whanau, no mai, haere mai. This is the opening weekend of the 2023 Bunnings National Provincial Championship. And tonight, Northland, the Taniwha, host last year's beaten finalists, Canterbury. Presents again for knock. Opportunity here for Northland as Adams puts his head down. Competition on the ground, Harmon creating all sorts of issues. Leonard Brown had to control himself, not give away the penalty. Here come Northland again. Opportunity here for the Tony Fart. That's it. Right. Within yeah, striking yeah, distance of the goal line. Moles carries it a couple of metres. The forward's going to work here for Northland. Rusty boys. Adams are poor. Moles have all had a go. They come out the back. Opportunity out on the wing. It comes to the right winger. He dives in and scores. I think that is Brady Rush. And Northland get the first try. And it is the right winger, Brady Rush. They went round the corner, and of course the last play was a lovely little second man play out the back from Knock, the cutout pass through Rehana, and of course a beautiful finish, the little cutout was a double cutout pass to Rush on that right edge. Uh, really, really simple work, conventional with the forwards, creating that space on that right side, and a lovely finish. Harmon. This time the pass is held, and this is Mataeli. Tries to flick it, and it's just touched there by a Canterbury hand. Referee's the letting it go, so we'll keep going as Harmon just gets through the first tackle of his opposite, Matic. Look at Paul Heppi here as Karate floating one over the top to Cahill, who sets sight for the line, but he's come back. That's gone for it. We'll go back for the penalty to Canterbury. Yeah, I liked what Canterbury did then, though. Four, you know, just looking at those second man plays again, jam the inside defenders, and of course, shift the ball wide. Just unfortunately, from Crotty, the ball drifted forward. Here's Burke. Kick of 40 metres, pretty much right out in front. Good looking kick. And Fergus Burke gets the first points of the 2022, 2023 rather, NPC season for Canterbury. Here's Bell into the defensive line, runs into. One of the two Rush brothers, that's Rob Rush. Here is good run from Burt. In the defence, though, good from Northland. Romano trying to charge his way through the Tunny Fire line. Barnes not roaring. All presented again for Hines. Out the back this time and turning and spinning. It's nice work from again from Ranger coming up in defence, but we'll go back for the penalty. Not rolling away Northland and under pressure. Just Sorry, giving us a number. little idea, a little hint of the danger of Canterbury there. And this from a very handy position for the Canterbury first five. Top point scorer last season and makes no mistake. And it's Canterbury for the first time who are out in front. Here is a little work from Crot. He gets his hands freeze. Back to Burke. Dominic Gardner has been active with ball in hand and he's running slightly across field presents it again though bell and bell goes around the outside trying to make sure he can stay in play rangers competing but can't win the ball here's hines Harmon slightly flat-footed but then makes a couple of meters work from the canterbury captain billy Harmon. 58th game for canterbury down. today advantage being played lovely hold and the man on debut's heading for the line he's going to get there Taylor Cahill, what a moment for him on his first appearance for the Red and Blacks. He gets the try at Canterbury have their first, and they lead by six. Hines threw a ball out to Burke. It's the little tip pass from Leonard Brown. We often talk about the tip or the little hook passes out the back. If he hadn't released that ball, and they haven't been doing it, Canterbury, but this time it's just a beautifully timed pass. No! Rush, Milo Harris, Rivers Rehan up five oh! metres from the line. Big opportunity before half time for Northland. Comes back to a poor. Muscles his way another couple of metres. Milo Harris, here's another front row. This is Adams. Adams. Adams still going, spinning, trying to get the ball on the ground, and referee says it's Helmer. The big man working away, Adams. He's okay, got a nice go, body position on this. Just got turned on his back, didn't he? Just at the last moment. So Canterbury, they've come north, and so far they're doing a good job. North and open the scoring, but Canterbury at half time with an eight point advantage. It is Canterbury 13, North and five, second half not far away. Line out low, one by Northland. 
Milo Harris on the field. Nice charge, this from the try scorer in the first half for North and Rush. Here is Milo Harris trying to milk a penalty. Taking options, Ivanis. And he's managed to do so. Milo Harris, here's a short pass to Goodhue. Jack Goodhue. Almost gets over the advantage line. Good tackle, though. Here's another one of the Rush brothers. This is Rob Rush. Over the ball is Harmon, but we're going back for the penalty. And so an opportunity here at the start of the second half for Northland. And here's a chance to get the scoring going in the second half. A kick of about 40 metres, not quite out in front, but not too far away. It's a good-looking strike from Rehana. Distance not a problem, and neither is the direction. So great start to the half for Northland, and they cut that deficit to five. Not on the ball. Up over the 22 metre line, here's Tua floating the pass behind the advantage line and Canterbury up quickly through Rameku Pohepi. And there's a penalty too, so that little disjointed attack ended up costing Northland. <laughs> Successful penalty goal from Fergus Burke and that advantage of eight points at half time is restored. Milo Harris back to a poor presents for Milo Harris to the left they go here comes to almost gets through the tackle and driven by the other player Leonard Brown outside opportunity here for Jonah Mutu wrapping around Rivers Rehana has got that arm free Have to look for the offload and we'll go back for the penalty Canterbury spoil double blast from the referee now what does he want to have a look at here this is a kick from a very handy position for him. Good looking strike from the Rivers Rehana. And a successful penalty goal for Northland's first 5 8. And it's a five point ball game. Hands it off to Dunshe, the new men combined. Here's Harmon winding up and an offload too to Kello. Carrying Tamari Tour up to the 22. That ball has been interrupted by Mark. So there's advantage being played. Here's Drummond. Hands into his. Crusaders teammate Jack Goodhue. Here's Ryan Crotty. Need to chip it over the top. And a lot of contact Sorry. there. We'll go back for the penalty. Fergus Burke. Opportunity to restore that eight-point advantage. Yeah. Very handy position. And a man of his talent makes no mistakes. Yes. Now told yes. to use it. He'll have to let it go. Drummond. Back it comes to Pohepi. Burke, flat pass to Fihaki. Tries to oh, really? shovel it on, but the Northern defence comes up flat. Here's Brady Rush. He was just too eager. He couldn't help himself. Oh. Arm out from the referee. Collected by Bell. Danger not over here for no Canterbury. Drummond digs in again. Fihaki back on the inside. Nice carry oh, from no Gardner. They're over the top of the ball, but we'll go back for the penalty. Northland and the double blast. Yellow card for Northern right winger Brady Rush, so he will spend the next 10 in the bin. If they can weather the storm, they could still get back into this game. Armin wins the line out. This time they peel off. It comes in the midfield for Ramaka Pohepi. He's driven back in the tackle, though, by his opposite. Here is winding up his guard. No! Six metres from the line. Drummond tries to go quickly. Cahill, he's already scored one try. The big lock on debut. Four metres from the goal line. Sticking to the right-hand side. Bell with his head down, runs into the tackle of Kier. Another advantage being played. Northland will be in danger of losing another play here if they're not careful. Here is Drummond. Burke, flat pass, Fihaki tries to float it over the top to Murray. Murray for the corner, and Murray scores. Relentless from Canterbury. Fihaki came up in the line, then he threw a cutout pass. Straight to Murray. Murray's been impressive since he's been on the field, Tom. He's done lots of stuff with the ball, looked after it. Drummond again really has added some impact off the bench. This is head down and driving is Joe Bryle for Canterbury. He's in Jersey 20. Dunche intercepted almost by Rene Ranger. And of course, he didn't collect it cleanly. And he's going to see yellow, I think, here. Yeah. He's remonstrating with the referee. And off he'll go. 23. Rene Ranger. There might have been three unmarked men on that outside if that one didn't find the hand of 
Rooney arrange it. Here come Canterbury again. They are hunting. Ben Fennell is at the back. He scored plenty of tries like this in his 78 games for the Red and Blacks. Fennell in jersey 16. Up to the line, and he scores. Another one. Does the replacement hooker. Give an opportunity for Duncho to run. Head down. Driving forward is Joe Bryle in jersey 20 for Canterbury. Burke just held the pass, this one a little bit longer. Now there's a chance to draw, here's a try scorer from the half and it's a kick and chase. Where's this going? One going to end, he's winning the race! Oh, brilliant from Blair Murray. Absolutely brilliant. The ability to shift the ball from one side to the other. This time the cutout pass was instrumental to Crotty and then of course he got the ball to Murray. We spoke about how instrumental he has been in a lot of what a Canterbury have done here. The little chip kick off the left foot. Uh, he took a nice pass from Crotty too. That was a good, good option that he took after reading good pitches. And then he got the favourable bounce and scored in the corner. Line out is won by Northland. Milo Harris, but he rushes it first flight, wrapping around Hawkins and intercepted by Shane Fihockey and Canterbury will finish with another try. Northland's attempts to run the ball from deep inside their territory backfires, Shane Fihockey collects and Canterbury finish with a try to their fullback Shay Fihaki and that caps a wonderful night for the Red and Blacks. It's an exclamation point isn't it for the way they've defended in the second half and of course you'll always see when you're playing catch up the long pass from Emilio Harris to, to Brady and he tried to play the ball out the back to her but of course uh, when Hawkins got the ball he was so deep in the pocket and he went to throw the cutout pass Fihaki had come up nicely into the passing lane and just picked off a bit of a loopy pass uh, from Hawkins but of course you know you, you kept, you're chasing the game uh, a nice read from Fihaki but all the work done defensively before that was at the absolute key and Canterbury get off to the dream start in the 2023 Bunnings MPC comprehensive winners at Seminoff Stadium in Whangarei final score Canterbury 43 Northland 11